Today we got a life hack and basically I don't have this tool, you can't really see it, but it's a very deep socket ISIS tool. Uh, unfortunately I didn't get it when I needed it. And um, basically you can see that I've almost finished my job and I would say about 97% has been done via plastic. Can you believe that? So this is as you can see that I've got a, um, a normal uh, external BB sort of cup Shimano deal and what I've done is put a donut of polymorph or polycaprolate or something like that that it's called and mm, basically uh, molded molded the shape of the teeth Although they're as small as um, things that you'll ever see, and they do break, all you do is you just go basically push the plastic back over. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Remelt it with your, your heat gun, maybe flatten it out or something, and then push the plastic over so there's a bit more there, and then just push it, push it straight back in. Just push it straight in, hold it for a second go take it over to some cold water cool it down so it gets nice and cold go grab a cold beer while it's getting super cold on the inside and then just be really careful I have now made one and I've perfected it basically with this one I've almost done 70 percent of of all my turns and a lot of them are short turns long so they were longer until I'm getting very close now to the uh, motor so it's quite hard it's the pulling off putting it back in that's the problem anyway so that's a um, life hack polycaprolate and uh, there's a big bag of the, the drugs right there so progression with the bike as you can see it's upside down I don't know if it helps you to look at it like this does that help? there's a hell of a lot of spaghetti happening um, I really wanted to get the motor on because by having it on I can get all my other wiring and stuff done even if I can't get this finally final completion I can at least work on a lot of things and I won't feel bad about it sitting on the threads on the outside anyway uh, issues with the M6 is the um, what do you call these the uh, chain retention devices there's three of these I think one one is hidden uh, this one will become the uh, torque torque arm torque brace and this this one is kind of a useless one which might actually become a chain tensioner uh, point but as you can see the bottom part of the um, I don't know what Mike calls them but this this part that clamps onto the bottom bracket was digging straight into it so I actually pulled out the uh, I do have it didn't have a chisel so I use this I think that's a steel blade and there's a lot of aluminium actually in my seat so you can see I removed about a mil I probably should have removed just a bit more but I really wanted to keep um, the pressure on this point because it's going to take some of the, the the weight off the actual bottom bracket and give it a, a you know it's actually a perfect point to have because it's pushing downwards anyway um, other other things I've got is that the place where the tube clamps come in is it looks like there's about a centimeter space in there uh, I'll probably fill that with some plastic as well good old stuff that I've got ready to rock here and just pack that and then clamp the crap out of it and it's just basically good as um, unless of course it overheats which I don't I don't think it'll make much difference even if it did the whole thing is already sturdy just by these by these two points even if I tipped it upside down I don't, I don't know if it will twist out even though it's not even put in totally uh, what else uh, this Mike's ingenious uh, chain tensioner. I think this is going to be fantastic. Uh, also, polycaprolate uh, uh, total box 
um, as you can see it is still in a removable state basically I've sealed the back but the front still has a slot where with what I consider this plastic to be kind of a super super sort of um, what would you call it uh, zip tie it's just it seems like the same kind of material it's rock hard if you if you form it properly and basically it, when it's turned up the right way I've got uh, I got from across the road my neighbor there helped me out and cut cut off a bit of corner some window piece there and this piece here will um, is basically holding it all from going outwards and going upwards and it can slide out so I was going to put screws in so I could remove them but I think I oh, will seal this and that will strengthen up the corners with more plastic and solidify that while the battery is inside the heat is more on the outside I just have to I've done a lot better at everything uh, using the plastics and uh, there's a lot of spaghetti and uh, well when you see it the right way up it looks like tentacles um, so basically that's my next job um, looking at it now I, I kind of think that I could probably fit the controller in under here because it's gonna have a lot of space under here that I, I wasn't quite uh, visualizing before and the motor is quite wide so I'm, I'm, I'm guesstimating that the controller would be able to kind of sit deeper than I was imagining it was just hard to imagine um, I don't feel like I've wasted my time making these brackets for at the front of the forks um, that could also be like uh, if I change my mind and put my controller up here that this this could be you know uh, make a tray for shit you could put those multi-star 20 amp hour packs a few of those and I could just go anywhere with them and just drop off a pack and not have to carry it on my back anyway that's a lot of talking so that's what the bike's looking like I know it's looking dark on this side guys uh, if you look, have a look at it on this side uh, you can see she's she's looking pretty sexy I'll just turn her upside down and everything looks like it's going to work I just I'm gonna have to order this tool just for future the life hack is good but you know it's not not everything um, interestingly it's called HLB and over here what's that CS or something or three bananas with the ES boys are watching and yeah lots of warnings for this stuff and don't want to keep it in the house anymore I'll be honest don't trust you so yeah that's how she's looking beautiful lines hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah the Australian summer is starting and it's Friday night which means it's party night which is a good time to have a coldie or 10 20